The Dayton City Commission approving two new contracts for Dayton police officers tonight after a long negotiation process. Officers have been working for at least the last six months without a contract operating under their previous one. Generally Bork live from City Hall tonight. What is the city hoping these contracts will help do? Well, Adam, the hope is that these contracts will help the department keep officers and get more. The importance of having enough officers highlighted coming off a weekend filled with gun violence. We don't have a full force at the moment. Um, our officers are, you know, remarkable in terms of picking up that slack, but they can't do it um, going forward. Dayton City Commission voting unanimously to approve two new police contracts on Wednesday. One for FOP officers and another for FOP supervisors. These contracts will be good for the next three years. The city's HR director giving perspective about how difficult it was to get to this point. We started bargaining with uh, all of our labor group groups June of last year. And now it's June of 24, so 365 days later. Getting over the hump of contract negotiations couldn't have come at a better time. Dayton PD says there's been 32 more violent crimes involving a firearm this year compared to last. Any death from gun violence is regrettable, and there's multiple reasons for gun violence. Some of it's the street violence, some of it's domestic violence, some of it's our suicides when someone gets a hold of a, a gun, um, and that, all of that, just all of that's regrettable and unfortunate. The new contracts have increased pay, made changes to health care, and there's an emphasis on keeping younger officers. Retaining officers overall was a big goal. We wanted to put the money where we need it the most. It's our younger, less senior officers who tend to want to leave, uh, so we want them to stay. We want to tell them that they're important to us, and we want to pay them accordingly. Commissioner Fairchild says the city wanted to demonstrate that officers are important with these contracts. He says it will take the commission, DPD, and the administration working together to decrease violence, but there's also a bigger picture to it that takes longer. What can reduce gun violence are bigger issues than what our police and what our, we do. You're looking at things like reducing poverty, you're looking at engaging our young people in programming. Commissioner Fairchild says one thing that could remain a challenge for the city is keeping officers because other cities are increasing pay as well. But these contracts are a step in the right direction to do that. Back to you in studio.